Okay, so we are about done with this K-1 classroom here at Sequoia Village School. And here, let me back up so you can get the actual feeling. So we are walking in to the left is going to be the cubbies. And this classroom is going to hold up to 28 K through one children. So kindergartens and first graders in this classroom. <clears throat> so we'll start here on the left. It's a two person spot here. This is a publishing area on this side over here is gonna be some uh, wish you well greeting card um, art, um, greeting card creations, uh, supplies there. So we're gonna do some stickers envelopes we have also some dry erase boards there table over here for publishing and i'm going to have debbie kind of continue explaining the, the I, um, one of the things that we were talking about in this area um are all those envelopes that we get for paying bills if you're like me you pay your bills online so use of all those envelopes um and also some um, sentence stems that help kids with writing those we wish you well actually the teachers here we're talking about calling them greeting cards so those that language of I miss you, we love you, whatever they want, that they have that they can take from that desk, uh, from those shelves over here to the tables to actually be writing with. Another really nice detail that worked out in this room was this little area here. So um, she's put a whiteboard down low up on this table with some dry erase markers and then just a little rug to kind of define that that, that is an area where they can do that. Um, magnetic shelf over here, so a lot of letters. And this, so um, this easel is um, between the art area and our writing area. And so um, we're, she's gonna put stories here on um, the felt. felt or maybe even on paper, but putting sandpaper on the back so it'll hold on to there. And we were talking about, there's a lot of online sites where you can print out pictures from books that the children know. And so this area also is sharing a shelf here that can be used for art or for writing. So there's paper, there's pencils, there's staples, staplers, uh, tape dispensers, um, all kinds of things that could be used in either of the areas. This is for the easel. And so it's um, one of the challenges was how, is it, how are the children gonna have paint? paint? So we talked about being able to put paint inside of a plastic uh, baggie. So you close it up and then some containers for the, the brushes. These, um, they felt that there were some sharp edges on here, so they put some duct tape around to make that safe for the kids when they're using it here. And she's also gonna cover this with contact paper so that when paint does get on here, it'll be really easy to, to clean up afterwards. Lots of storage for paint, um, smocks, things like that. These drawers are gonna be to refill, so the children are gonna be um, told and taught that if they run out of something, they'll know and it'll be marked, maybe there'll even be pictures too with the words of what's in here if they need to refill something. Um, some we, oh, oh it, I was gonna interrupt that. We removed, we, they removed the uh, doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, right, the, the yeah. cabinet so doors once again, there. it gave us more shelf space for the children to have access, access to a lot of things. Here are some trays which um, can be used for the children are doing collage. They can collect the materials that they're gonna use on here and then, um, Put it, put it onto their collage as they are. Here is the, um, the table for the art area. Um, we have this um, kidney-shaped table, so we push it up against the wall. And one idea is they may put a lamp on here, so there's a lot of light um, focusing on the children's work. Or there could be some kind of provocation. There might be a little table with provocations of some kind, uh, or the children might do still live. Who knows what, what will be there to uh, Display, enhance yeah. this area yeah moving on into more literacy this is um, getting more into the reading area so we um, have an authentic calendar ready to go right here that the teacher made um, and each day the kids some one child will um, draw a picture that represents some of the learning that took place during that day and then they're going to get um, bundle them by the month and put them on a hook to show what happened during whatever month it was there's a little private area for reading mm -hmm. next to that. We're going to move this little pole that we've been moving. Oh, yeah. We, yeah <laughs> we've moved it a lot of times. So we can show you guys. Yeah, and then, but it's if you can kind of um, show in the underneath there. She's going to put maybe like a crib bumper or something or some pillows to soften up that area down there. 
just sort of a private little reading, reading area. Yeah, a little reading nook there. Yeah, but this here is the one person or the safe spot. Um, they're still working on some of the details of finishing that, but that they're going to um, put some, maybe something hanging down to get a little more privacy. If yeah, the just some, place being, to be alone. some fabric right here, but right on this area has some cabinets, so she'll put some a basket there, a couple of baskets with the uh, sensory items, the fidget tools, puzzles, and the, um, the books. And then what's nice is that the cabinet back here is magnetic, so you can put a mirror right there. Yeah. You can put some photos of the emotions of the kids. And she does have a poster of different emotions, which she's going to start with and then work on taking pictures, have the kids themselves show different emotions. So here's our large group spot and it should be fine but she says heather you said that this was smaller before so this yes. should work yes. for her yes and then when this was taken off because they painted it there actually will be a back to this and the word wall is going to go on here yes so this part you're not going to see it's been it, it they they're going to paint it it's going to be really um, with a magnetic paint so yeah. that will be their interactive word wall on this side nice. very cool very cool and then we go into the science area science area mm -hmm. Um, and so they're just the beginning of a little provocation is out here some pods which are from this area and they'll put out some magnifying glasses but they're shelving there expecting a worm bin so that will fit into one of those areas they made their own light tables with uh, battery operated lights so those are there oh that's okay these are the little oh that's a great idea it's a little mini light Mm -hmm. And then some of the things that could be used with a light table are next to it, which could be changed out as well. Yeah. And then okay. there's also a shelf over here on the other side that can be used for a lot of other of the science tools. Yes. Magnifying glasses, tongs, things like that. But also, and in every area, um, there's probably, you'll find things that are t for the children to be writing, um, and also books related to that area. So there's, you see the clipboards and some paper there in the science area. And then we'll move to the sociodramatic area. And she had already some really nice um, materials set up here. So we just kind of enhanced these and opened up the windows to let the natural lighting in. Um, and I think it's important, Debbie, mention your point about this calendar that's on oh, in, over yeah. here. So, so we think it's really important to have, you know, for group time to have that authentic calendar. But in our houses, we use calendars and we write notes on there. So that's an, a reason, that's an invitation for the children to be writing while they're here at the dramatic play area. <laughs> they might want to write something's happening on a certain day. Yeah. And um, she has a, uh, a real muffin tin here and it's going to work on getting some real pots and pans as well for the children to use. And there's a book there to read to the baby dolls. <laughs> yeah. She has a dog that, and, and a place to feed the dog over there some hats and we've talked about some other manipulate or some other things that could enhance the dramatic yeah, play area as well. Mm -hmm. And I think what was going to be here? The there was a McDonald's here but rather than having that when the children come in she's put that away and but if the children show some interest in that then it'll come back out if they want to have a second part of their dramatic play area. Great. Mm -hmm. And then we move into our block space and they're getting blocks. They are having Home Depot save their piece, some pieces of wood, and then they're going to have the children sand them. And this is a bulletin board that's going to be put up. I think it's such a good idea where there's going to be pictures, so there might be pictures of a lot of different kinds of buildings, or it could be bridges or tunnels, whatever, to help um, with that. Cite the kind of building. So she'll add the accessories of the blocks and the, her little people, and um, there's some dry erase boards there and um, markers. And then we move into the tinkering. tinkering area she had this really nice table that has shelving on the bottom so she'll set up probably for two two kiddos right here pegboard on this side um, with the tools and then down here is the items that they can um, take apart mm -hmm. and then the middle we have a math area our math and manips and um, I want you to talk about these um, bucket seats how you guys do that so if you notice they created these bucket seats and show how like they're also storage 
we asked Safeway for the buckets and their frosting buckets, and they collected probably 20 of them for us. And we can also use them for storage. Oh, that's just awesome. We went to the thrift store and found some memory foam mattress padding that we cut up into shape and just glued them to the lid. And they feel so really that good way to we, sit on. Yeah. They are yeah. very comfortable. Super comfortable. Mm -hmm. So if you um, want some more information about these um, bucket seats, just post, post in the comments and we'll connect you guys to these teachers here. Um, but they also have the regular crate um, seating as well, if you want to. And we cut the plywood out and then layered the bottom and put some padding here and put some more material over this and added a little hook so it's easier to pull yeah. it in and out with. That's awesome. So there's that type of seating available throughout the classroom. And that's about it. This is awesome. How do you feel? I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. We can't wait to get um, some pictures, too, once your kids are here. And, um, Heather, you have the kindergarten um, next week. Yes, kinder camp starts Monday. So the classroom is going to be used already. Yes. And so that way she'll know how to, how to adjust any of the environments if, as needed. Mm -hmm.